Hi friends, welcome to the SMS Academy. Today we are going to discuss about uh, XS 11.3 first bit. XS 11.3 first bit. Let us uh, observe the question. I will load the tan 36 degrees by cot 54. I will load the value of tan 36 degrees by cot 54. If you observe the numerical values of these uh, anchors which are uh, involved in our question, that are 36 and 54 and if you add them you get 90 degrees that means that sum of these two angles are 90 degrees if sum of these two angles are 90 degrees then these angles are set as what complementary complementary angles these are set with the complementary angles so to find out the value of this given question we need to apply complementary angles of three ratios for the any one of the numerator or denominator that means we have to apply complementary angle for the either numerator or denominator but not at all not both at once so firstly i am going to apply complementary angle concept for the numerator we have tan 36 degrees by cot 54 degrees now tan 36 degrees i want to write tan 36 degrees as tan of 90 minus 54 degrees by cot 54 degrees and we know that tan 90 minus theta tan 90 minus theta can be written as cot theta by using this formula by using this formula we can write that our given portion our answer as in this this step this step in, the, in this step numerator can be written as tan 90 minus 54 degrees can be written as cot of 54 degrees by cot 54 degrees now as we have numerator and denominator equal quantities we can cancel as now so that we get answer as one so this is the answer for the first question in the first bit let us see the next question in the next question we have given that cos 12 degrees minus sin 78 degrees here also the numerical values of this 12 and 78 and adding them you get a 90 degrees that means these two angles are set to your complementary angles to each other so here also we have to apply complementary angle concept for any one term that means either cos we have to write in terms of sin or else sin we have to write in terms of cos so i want to apply the complementary angle concept for the first first term that means i want to write cos into sin cos in terms of sin i am going to write so for that cos 12 degrees minus 78 sorry sin 78 degrees now this 12 degrees 12 can be written as 90 minus 78 so that i am writing here cos 12 i am writing as in cos of 90 minus 78 degrees minus sin 78 degrees now cos of 90 minus theta cos 90 minus theta can be written as sin theta by that this can be written as sin 78 degrees minus sin 78 degrees as both are equal quantities and subtracting the get value as a 0 so the second answer we get as a now 0 let us see the third problem in the third problem we have given as cosec 30 31 degrees and sec 59 degrees cosec cosec 31 degrees and sec 59 degrees for this if you observe this 31 degrees and 59 degrees and adding them you get a 90 degrees so these two angles are set with what complementary angles add to each other and also sec cosec can be written in terms of sec and sec can be written in terms of cosec so that any one term out of these two any one term we have to write in terms of another term that means either we have to write cosec in terms of cosec or else sec we have to write in terms of cosec by using complementary angle concept to that i am going to apply complementary angle concept for the second term so let me write the question again cosec 31 degrees 
9 is sec 59 degrees. We can write 59 degrees can be written as 90 minus 31. So that I am going to write here. First term I am writing as easily for sec 31 degrees minus sec 59 degrees. 59 means what? We can write 59 as in 90 minus 31. So that I am going to write here. This 59 I am writing as in 90 minus 31. And if you observe the second term, second term in the in form of sec of 90 minus theta. Sec 90 minus theta can be written as cosec theta. So I am going to write this uh, second term as a cosec 31 degrees minus we have in the beginning we have first term is also cosec 31 degrees. So as these two are equal quantities on subtracting them you get 0 is the answer for this. Now let us see the fourth question. In the fourth question we have given with the sin 15 degrees into sec 75 degrees sin 15 degrees into sec 75 degrees here if you observe the numerical values 15 and 75 you get a 90 these are complementary angles but if you observe the trigonometric ratios sin and cos sorry sin and sec sin cannot be written in terms of sec by using complementary angles and sec 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 theta also cannot be written in terms of sin by using complementary angles then what we have to do means we have here also we have to apply complementary angle concept for first term or second term so here i am going with the first term i am writing the question as sec sin 15 degrees into sec 75 degrees here sin 15 degrees we have so sin 15 degrees i am writing as a sin of 90 minus 75 so sin 90 minus 75 into sec 75 and sin 90 minus theta we know that sin 90 minus theta can be written as sin 90 minus theta can be written as cos theta by that we can write sin 90 minus 75 degrees can be written as cos 75 degrees into sec 75 degrees now if you observe the t ratio trigonometric ratios in this one obtain one cos 75 degrees and sec 75 degrees cos 75 degrees and sec 75 degrees these two are reciprocals to each other that means sec can be written as 1 by cos that means sec 75 can be written as sec 75 degrees sorry sec 75 degrees can be written as 1 by cos 75 degrees now both if both can be cancelled as so that we get answer as a 1 for this question also now let us see the fifth question in this this is a fifth question not a sixth question not a sixth question fifth question in the fifth question they are asking us to find out the value of tan 26 degrees and into tan 64 degrees and the value of tan 26 degrees into tan 64 degrees so in this way and adding these numerical values you get a 90 so these are complementary angles so i want to apply trigonometric ratios complementary angles of trigonometric ratios for one term so to that i am writing 26 i am writing as a 90 minus 64 on transporting it so that tan 26 can be written as tan 90 minus 64 degrees into tan 64 degrees and writing as is the second term now we know that tan 90 minus theta tan 90 minus theta can be written as cot theta by using this we can write tan 90 minus 64 can be written as cot 64 into tan 64 now if you observe this cot is a reciprocal of tan so cot theta can be written as 1 by tan theta in the same manner cot 64 can be written as 1 by tan 64 degrees into tan 64 degrees now we can cancelize this two so that we get answer is a 
1. So, this is how to solve the problems in the first bit of the excess 11 point. And one must observe that while solving the problems in this, we have to apply complementary angle for only one term, not two terms at once. So that we can solve the answers easily in this bit. Thank you friends for watching this video.